So living your life in the public eye is, is hard, right? Especially oh, yeah. when you're a rapper and so you have your girlfriend, Nia, yeah. and you guys are going on marriage boot camp. Yeah. What kind of issues are you hoping to work out there? Man, I'm just trying to be the best me I can be. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Love is a, is a, is a crazy thing, you know what I'm saying? But is it harder when you're a rapper? It's way hard. Why? Because I'm in the public eye and you got all these different girls everywhere I go, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you got the fans, you got the, the groupies, you know, they, they exist, they are here. And it, and it makes it 10 times harder to be in a successful like relationship. Like to say no? Not to say no, but just to have a partner that understands your lifestyle and understands that the media can make up lies or girls can, you know what I'm saying? You have to yeah. have a strong partner that really understands, you know, what I do for a living. I want to talk about something very, very serious right now, because this has especially been a very big subject right now in hip hop, too. Something that came up on one of the trailers for Marriage Boot Camp is Nia says, don't go and try and kill yourself this time. Yeah. And some people have referenced the fact that you did send out a social media post that said, I'm going to die soon. I enjoyed my life. What do you want your fans to know about this or what should they make of what we saw in this trailer? Um. Man, I don't want y'all to be too hard on her. You know, I just feel like we, we was in a, heat, in a heated moment. And uh -huh. I feel like when you're in an intense argument or, you know, you lash out and you say things that you really don't mean before, before you can think about what you said. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she just kind of got caught up in the moment. You know, it's, suicide is a very serious thing. And I apologize to my fans. And, and I already explained to them when they read that message and they got worried about me. And I let them know that I was just going through a lot at the time. So you, you didn't mean that when you tweeted that out? No, 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 no. I just was just going through a lot, man. Just like sometimes in life, like you just go through a lot, like with love and just, um, you know, just career wise. And it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being catapulted into fame, thrusting into fame at a young age. It's a lot to deal with, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I've navigated through the waters and matured and evolved. And I kind of got a good grasp of everything. You know, I'm stronger than I ever was, you know? But it definitely is suicide is nothing to play about and it's a very serious topic and it's very big in, in the industry today. Why do you feel like it is such a big issue right now that a lot of people are starting to come forward and talk about it, especially in hip hop? Because stress is real and people, you never know what a person is going through behind the camera. You never know what a person is going through in their head. So, you, you, you know, you just never know. You just never know. And I feel like it's big now with the passing of Mac Miller, rest in peace, Mac Miller, who was a good friend of mine. And that just showed people like, it could happen to anybody, you know what I'm saying? It's just because you, you have fame or money, you're not, um, you're not, you know, you know, um, immune to, to negativity and depression and, 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 and stress. And I just wish like I could have like, just talked to him, you know what I'm saying? Because like he DM me he he reached out to me like like a week before that happened, and I was just caught up with a lot of work, you know. And when it's and when you're in this industry, you, it's a lot of stuff on the plate, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't get to do certain things that I want because I gotta go do this interview and I gotta go do this and I gotta do that. Mm -hmm. And I just wish that I could have talked to him. Yeah. I feel like I should have I should have talked to him, you know what I'm saying? And see what see what was going on. But me being so caught up in being a rapper and being a businessman and doing this is, I didn't have that time, you know what I'm saying? But rest in peace, Mac, though. Yeah, maybe you didn't know yeah. that that's what he was maybe calling you about. Who knows?